Hey guys, it's Danny. So this month I received quite a few more letters from you guys. So let's recap. At the beginning, we received from Ana Maria some Miltoniopsis and a Nelly Eiler. And I actually asked Anna to get them for me because I don't seem to find too many Miltoniopsis around here. So this will be a little update on them. This is one of them. It's a white one. No ID just yet. This one is doing quite okay in comparison to the others in the sense that it didn't produce roots, but it didn't desiccate and it didn't lose any pseudobulbs. It did lose one leaf. However, the one in the back, the Herr Alexander, well, he kind of looked pretty awful when I repotted him. And you have a picture on the screen. No roots and also the back pseudobulb died and now it's losing these leaves. I am really not sure if this guy will make it and I am a bit sad because I love the Herr Alexander. I think from all the Miltoniopsis it's the best fragrance. It's just a personal preference but yeah, not sure if this guy will make it. I still hope so. The pseudobulb does not look very very dehydrated and I'm keeping it moist. However, Miltoniopsis from back bulbs, hmm, it will be a miracle if something actually grows. And this is the sick Nelly Eiler that she gifted me. It wasn't doing so great, so let's see if anything happened. And I think this new growth right here is growing a little bit. I think I see another leaf on the top. It didn't used to have this. The back pseudobulb already came a little bit shriveled and I think it's dying. I might remove it, but for now it's not really rotten. I think it's just depleting, so I'm just gonna leave it on. However, this orchid might have some chances to survive. We shall see in the future. And this is the Dendrobium rhodostictum. She sent another division my way because I lost the first one in the sense that it died on transport. This one did not do very, very much. However, I'm keeping it very moist in this humidity room and it's not dying. It's not doing anything. The new growth didn't grow all that much and this orchid doesn't have roots. However, I am relying on Mr. Humidifier here to help me out. So these were from Ana Maria and let's take a look at some more mail that I received. So my viewer Habib was saying that he wants to give up his Ingracum vitiki and he asked me if I wanted it and I said sure, I love Ingracums. And uh, this is what I got. And to give you an idea, this is the big boy. Thank you so much. This is the biggest orchid I've ever, ever seen. I'm not even joking. I'm just gonna go soak it in a bucket of water because it's a bit dehydrated and I'm actually gonna go buy a pot big enough to hold this guy. I don't know, for whatever reason, I thought the Vatiki was a tiny little guy, but no, it's a humongous orchid. And here is a letter I received from my viewer in Lithuania. I will not pronounce your name because I'm gonna butcher it. I'm sure gonna mispronounce it, so please excuse me. So you're asking me two questions. One, will I ever maybe make a vlog where I can show my face? Well, the truth is, I doubt it. <laughs> There's really no need for something like that when we're talking about plants, really, and flowers and beautiful things. And to be honest, there is also privacy. Not that I am any kind of rock star, but really, honestly, I don't want people to recognize me. But I will make it interesting. If I ever reach to 1 million subscribers to celebrate, I'll show my face on camera. How about that? I might be a bit too overconfident here, but I'm pretty sure I will never have 1 million subscribers, at least for the time being. And the second question, how much exactly does ceramics cost? Well, I'll add this in the description because it really depends where you purchase it from. But I can tell you one thing. There is a certain store based in the UK. I will not mention its name, but the ceramics there costs a lot less than anywhere else. I had some really bad experiences with them and they lied to me on many occasions. So I wouldn't go for the cheapest source of ceramics. I'll just link you below some prices depending on what type of ceramics you want. And thank you so much for sending this letter. It means a lot to me. It will go into my folder of memories from you guys. Thank Thank you guys very much for sending these orchids my way and the letters is really nice to hear from you guys and now i'm gonna tend for this angraecum he's a big boy i think he's the biggest orchid in my collection and i will make a video on the repotting of this guy pretty soon so thank you for watching if you ever want to send me anything a letter or a postcard or whatever you can do so at the address you see on the screen here and in the description below also subscribe to my channel for daily orchid videos and if you ever have questions or suggestions for videos just leave me a comment i check them every day. If you click on the left side of your screen, you're gonna be directed to orchinature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you for joining. I'll see you next time. Bye!